Okay, so uh, I've had some questions on what kit do I use, um, specifically ones that are a bit more affordable. So this is the most recent one I bought. It's by Forward, uh, model iOS. I originally bought this one purely for iPads because it does up to the uh, the iPad Pro versions. Because my original machine is the YMJ desktop, which only does phones, basically. Uh, it does Samsung Edge phones as well. Uh, at the time, I thought I wouldn't be doing iPads, and then uh, as it happens, I needed to do iPads. So rather than spend another £2,000 or whatever, plus shipping, for the larger YMJ, I thought I'd give this a try, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, so it's literally plug and play. Plug it in, switch it on. It's already set from factory. And you have a choice of laminating, debubble, or both. Um, yeah, so if you're using this machine to do phone screens, it will work slightly different to the usual vacuum pulling on the YMJ. Regardless, uh, I still get pretty good results. This was a this is a Samsung A twenty one S. Just comes out really good. Works really well. So to use this, you would need hand alignment. I'm going to just show it with an iPhone seven. Cause just what I've got laying around. But normally you would buy. You could use a mold like this, where the LCD will go in, and the glass on top, and you. Press it in the middle just to get one little spot of contact transfer it to this mat and put it in the ymj in this case with the forward you'll do the same just tap it in the middle and just place the whole unit in the machine or these better ones same king uh, they've got a sponge underneath so it compresses so what you can do is put your lcd in or your oled on this one this is for a 12 12 pro Put your glass on top and push the glass in like that to get a little depression chuck it in your machine i don't have anything like that for the iphone 7 i've only got these ymj molds so i'm just going to have to uh, give an example of how this works i'm not too fussed on the dust but the usual applies acetone to give your lcd a final clean Normally I've got the uh, humidifier on a few minutes before. I have to put the phone down a minute while I unpeel the ochre sheet. Okay, so I've peeled the sheet off and I'm going to attempt to use this. And all I'm going to do is just press in the middle There we go. So just press the middle. That's it. Nothing else. And then what we'll do is take that out of the frame one handed while filming. Open up the lid. And literally just place it on in the middle. Settings already done from factory. Look both start so we do a couple of tests lock the lid it's pulling a vacuum at the moment which will be there in a minute which I don't understand why it needs a vacuum as such because you bonded the glass and pan LCD together already what it's doing at the moment I've forgotten the preset settings on there so what it'll do it will 
laminate that inside. Do that for however many seconds it is in the settings again. Uh, they do recommend you don't need to change anything. I haven't. The only time I've changed the setting once was for an iPad. I did have some really stubborn bubbles. So I had to change the debubble time to about 20 minutes instead of the 11 or 12 that comes as factory standard. But if you take a photo of every setting before you do anything, you can always revert back to factory settings again. Now it's kicking in to do the debubble, which at this point, if you had the YMJ, you would have taken out the OCD now and put it in a debubble machine. So that's where this does it all in one. So inside you've got a, a compressor and a vacuum pump all in one. Whereas YMJ, you have to buy them all separately. Good thing about that though, if something fails, then you just replace the vacuum pump or repair it, service it, same with the compressor. And you can attach different tools on the compressor. Whereas this one is gonna be a big bit of a strip down in trying to find the right pump from forward if they supply. Um, but another thing, if the YMJ fails, I've now got a backup to do flat displays. This doesn't do Samsung Edge, only flat. The reason, uh, yeah, that Samsung A21S was done is because it's a flat display. Uh, so yeah, the, this debubble time is just going to go on for about 12 minutes or so. So what I'll do, I'll come back with a video and just show the results from, from that. Okay, so it's uh, complete. It's uh, It was about 600 seconds. If you go back and go to time you've got some settings there uh, so if you have some stubborn bubbles on ipads etc you can uh, extend your time there delete it enter the time you want press enter again so yeah it's um let's have a look i've not done a seven right through here yeah, no bubbles. So that's the uh, Ford iOS, if anyone's interested in more of a budget version. I say budget, this still cost at the time in uh, March. It was $800, even though I'm in the UK. $800, and I think at the time it was about 10 dollars per kilo for shipping and then obviously your import tax is at about 20 percent for us um, so it's still a, a fair amount but to do ipads and whatnot you know the support's pretty good as well and you you can't buy that from anywhere else um, i think forward and ymj are the only two that offer good after sales support um, but yeah so if you um was interested in one of these and uh, yeah that's the uh that's how it works it's, it's pretty straightforward it is plug and play which is what i like about this and um it does the ipad you don't need any special molds in there this black magic mat unlike uh the ymj in a way uh, where you need or those types of machines where you need to have these molds that are cut out originally um even then uh i've got magic mats to alleviate all this cut out i've got a mat like this actually it is a really soft black rubber mat so before on those red mats the uh the ic chip there would push in against the back and bust the display that was an absolute nightmare when i attempted refurbishing about eight years ago um didn't have a clue uh stopped it for a while because of kids and all that college and uh, started back up again and there's there's so much more kit out there and information it's made it a lot easier to get back into refurbishing um, i will do other reviews of what tools i use if anyone wants to know um, kit to start up kit that you uh, could ideally use and what's nice what's needed etc uh, i can do that if anyone's interested
uh, yeah, for a plug and play for about a thousand pound, just under. New as well, don't forget it's new. You can buy second hand off other people. There's a, an AK type all in one. I just prefer buying new because you, um, ideally, you, you expect a few years out of it, and if anything's wrong, yeah, you can send it back. It will cost a fair amount, but normally all this stuff's tested before they ship out with Ford and YMJ, that they're pretty good. Uh, so hopefully that that helps anyone who's on the fence on what kit to buy. That's just dust there. But yeah, pretty good. Thanks for watching.